Yesterday, this area was bracing for Isabel. Tonight, it's a different power puncher being thrown New Jersey's way. Peaceful sunset flickering in Tom's River as Friday Night Fights comes to you from the Garden State's suburban central coast. The brand new Rotaco Center anticipating a big night of action. And the locals here will get their first taste of it with a young undefeated featherweight prospect. Jason Litzow on the go for 5-0 against Rodney Jones. Rodney Jones comes from Rochester, New York, 27 years old. This is his fourth pro fight since turning pro in February. Rodney has gone 1-1-1, one, one, and one. started off with a first-round knockout win. He'll be taking on Jason Litzow. Jason, just 20 years old. He's from the Twin Cities, now trains here in Jersey. Plenty of short work for Jason to start his career. Four wins, four knockouts. Wayne Hedgepath, your referee. Receive your instruction in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean bout. Oh, protect, protect yourself at all times and obey my command. Touch him up. There's Jason Litzow, Teddy Atlas. Less than nine completed rounds of boxing in his first four fights as a pro. Well, we know he was a very good amateur, but we also know that a lot of boxing people have said they feel he is a top prospect, somebody to watch. We also know he's got to get in close to the very tall Jones. We also know Jones has a high order here in front of him, fighting an undefeated fighter, coming off a knockout loss, Jones is, in his last fight. Not a good way to go into the ring with anybody, much less a good prospect like Litzow. Let him out, no hold, break. Step back clean. Touched on the amateur career of Jason Litzow. He went 125 in 10 as an amateur. A couple of years ago, he was the number two rated featherweight in USA Boxing. Watch your head. We can see Jones, as tall as he is, does not use his height. Falls in with his right foot when he throws the right hand and gets close to Litzow, who from what I hear, all the reports is strong for this weight. One thing we can see, he's not afraid to let leather go. Left hand comes in. Jones tries to come up with the right uppercut. Both these guys tall, both of them wiry. Good exchange, and the left hand finishes strong for Jason Litzow. Well, as we said, Litzow having no trouble getting close to the long arm. Jones, not that Litzow's arms are short, but Jones are very long. No trouble getting close. Jones does not use his height well. Falls in with his feet when he punches. Therefore, doesn't keep range, doesn't keep distance. It's not a tough enough order for Jones to get in there with an undefeated fighter with all knockouts in his record. Coming in or for knockout loss in his last fight. He only took this fight on about five days' notice. So who knows what kind of shape Jones is in. And at this pace, we'll probably find out. Right hand as he comes off the rope, once again finishes with that left hand as Jason lifts out. And now, he's got him hurt. Rodney Jones goes down. And you can see this is what Litzow's looking for. You can see he's very aware of his career, very aware of being on television. And you can see he's very anxious, maybe a little over anxious, but he found the mark. He's been able to hurt Jones, who was knocked out in his last fight. And you can see this was Litzow's intent from the beginning, not to win a decision, but to go in there and try to get Jones out on national television. And because of it in spots, he's been a little over anxious, and maybe left himself a little bit out of position, a little sloppy in spots. But you can see his intentions are to score a spectacular big win and impress people. And that can work both ways, Joe. That can be good because people like to see a guy like that, but it can hurt you when you're on television because you can get away from your tools. ESPN2 Friday Night Fights presented by Light. Tell it over a great tasting West Philly Miller Light. It's Miller time. And in part by Everlast, the choice of champions since 1910. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you from Tom's River, New Jersey. Good start to what we think will be an action-packed fight card. Heck of a first round by the young prospect, Jason Litzow, Teddy. A little old anxious, 
you could see that he's really cognizant of being on television. And you can see that he really wants to score a knockout. He has skills. He's wiry. He can punch a little bit. And right here, you can see he's already hurt his opponent, Jones, and he's looking to get him out of there. Sometimes putting a young fighter on television and after only four fights, it's great to get exposure, but it can make him a little over anxious and it can sometimes leave an impression to the people. That's the way he's going to fight all the time. As he settles down, he's going to show more skills. We'll see what he brings here in round number two. Jason Litzel, 4 0, with four knockdowns in his career. Turned pro last November, had a first round knockout in his pro debut. Most recently had a first round knockout this past June. You see the punches in round number one. He went over the century mark, landing 40 of 101, scoring that first round knockdown. And here he lands a couple of right hands early on in round number two. When you see somebody 4 0 with four knockouts, as Litzau is, you always ask yourself two questions Does he really have that power, or is it the level of opposition that he's been in there with which at a young point in the career you would expect somebody to be in there with limited opposition you give him a chance to build up but you always wonder is it power pure power god given power or is it a little bit of the guys he's been in there with <laughs> behind the head, now referee wayne handing out a warning for behind the head Litzel uh, has a brother, Allen, who is also a professional fighter. No holding, no holding. Both nice kids. I was at the opportunity to meet them about a week ago in the Red Brick Gym in Newark, where they were training. They both eat, sleep, and breathe boxing. Break, 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 stop it. Their so, eyes light up, Joe, when you talk about <laughs> boxing with these two young men. I think this is another good example, Teddy, of a young kid who really used boxing as a way to turn his life around. He had a somewhat difficult life growing up in the Twin Cities, Minneapolis, St. Paul area. Dedicated himself, had a strong amateur career, was able to travel the world, fought in Puerto Rico. There's a second warning of this second round alone from Ren Hitchman. Fought in Ireland, England, Puerto Rico. And you can see right here, really excited about the rest of his career that lies ahead of him as a pro. Nice little move there by Litzau, showing some of his amateur pedigree for the first time, stepping to the side where you can get a better angle to hit your opponent. The angle's not there in front, get to the side. Good right hand. Every once in a while, Litzau will pull back, though, after he punches, and he pulls right back into the distance where his opponent is thrown. Makes himself a little bit vulnerable defensively. Something they're gonna have to work on. But again, I think Litzau, as many young men, has been affected by being the first fight of the night on television, a little anxious, not showing all his skills. Right now, looks out dropping his hands. Very dangerous habit to get into, but there he dropped the left hook, and that's a good habit. Came right back with that left hook. See, that's why you don't pose after you punch. Jones threw something, he posed, and he got nailed. What a big left hand from Jason Litzau. Maybe Litzau. Second round with a bang. Litzau dropping his hands. Let Jones get a little careless. Let some punches go. He posed. He admired his work. And as you said, picture left took. Bang. Down goes Jones. Another 10 8 round. And you can see the damage that it did. Here it is, Teddy. Nice counter left took. He allows Jones to come in. Again, Jones comes in. Throws a right hand to the body, starts to come straight up like he's going to do something to the head. Doesn't get a chance. Litzau comes back. The right hand is down. That's why you got to have that right hand up, especially if you're going to throw that left hook. Jones had just thrown something to the body, was coming up, thinking he was going to throw something to the head. Bang! Litzau throws a nice time left hook. And another 10 8 round for the young Litzau. Two rounds, two knockdowns for Jason Litzau. Round number three, they are scheduled for four. The power punches in round two, 26 to 11 edge, but that one left hook, the statement punch of this fight so far. And again, that knockdown at the end of the round has made Litzau a little bit over anxious. You can see he's going out there 
bombing, as they say. Now maybe has settled down, looks to set shots up a little bit. It's nice to score knockouts, but you're going to climb up that boxing ladder. It's your skills, it's your technique, it's your good habits that are going to get you there. There's a lot of bangers out there, there's a lot of tough guys out there. Got to be tough and smart. You can see what Litzow's doing a little. He's rocking and rolling a little bit, Joe. When he got near those ropes, he's trying to dip a little bit, rock back, and then come back with a shot. And right comes through. Again, you can see Jones, tall man, fight small, fight short. Not hard to get close to Jones. And close with a right hand, not a left hook. Litzow showing and ending this show, ending the night, showing that he can punch with the right hand as well as the left hook. Five fights, five knockouts to start the career of Jason Litzow. Good damage done there in the third round. Rodney Jones ate a right hand. A second later, he took a knee, and Wayne Hedgepeth calls an end to this fight. Sonny D, Pat Noon, Haley Maria, I love you. All right, Teddy, here's the action in the third round. The devastating left hook in round two, and then he just brings a lot of volume punching in this third round. Well, I like that body punch, and that is softening a man up. And that did affect Jones, and then a little while later, you could see the finishing touch, the right hand to the head, but those body shots already did their work. Again, the right hand a little bit behind the ear, Jones had felt enough, he had seen enough, he had tasted a left hook, now he tasted a right hand. Time for the showers. A lot of heart shown by Jones. Give him credit. Coming in here four and a half months ago, his last fight, he was knocked out. Coming in here with an undefeated fighter, showing a lot of heart. So Jason Litzow goes to 5-0, and oh, and Brian Kenny, I believe Jason Litzow now falls into that Max Kellerman category of I want to see him again. Guys, back to you. Oh, he's got the read on you already. You that's only right. have a couple of moves, and we, we, that's we got right. a ball. That's right. I don't go left. No, that's right. That's exactly right. You want to see him again. But you know what that what it reminds me of? You know, sometimes a guy will throw a left hook, hit a guy right on the butt, and he doesn't go anywhere. Other times, a guy just falls like a tree. Litzow showed against Jones that right there, where you hit someone and knock them down. It was right on the chin. You hit a guy over here, the head does this. You hit a guy on the chin, you saw what happened to Jones's neck. The whole thing just snapped. He collapsed. That was a picture-perfect left hook right on the chin fight essentially over. Yeah, we're going to see like Rocky Juarez. We're going to have highlights. Right, of that, that was a Rocky Juarez left hook. Right, here we go. To the max brought to you by...